good afternoon everyone. I'm just going to give it a couple seconds to see who's going to log on. I hope you're all doing well. So let's get started. Um, good afternoon. Welcome to Healthy Hive uh, Meditation Mondays. My name is Cynthia Gutierrez. I'm the program manager for Hive and I'm recording live from the Ohlone land in Oakland, California. And every Monday at 12 p.m. I lead you all through a mindfulness meditation here on Facebook Live. And um, at the end of it, I provide um, a Black, Indigenous, or People of Color resource. Um, that resource varies, uh, whether it's a video, an article, a book, a podcast, just trying to share um, ways that which you know, we can all be well during this pandemic um, and during this really stressful and chaotic time. So um, for those of you that have joined before, we went through an entire body scan. Um, and I believe that took about a month or a little bit over a month. And um, I found it really helpful to like break up the different body parts. And every week I'll provide um, a different focus or a different type of meditation, but always grounding it in mindfulness meditation. This week, we are going to do a meta meditation, um, which is a way of really sitting with unconditional loving and kindness and um, being able to like have that kind of love and kindness within ourselves and ultimately share it with others um, and sometimes share with folks that we might not necessarily feel those emotions towards. And so let's get started. Um, I encourage you all to get in a position that is comfortable and secure for you, whether you're laying down, sitting up, um, sitting in a chair, whatever that looks like, um, and really make sure that you feel relaxed, alert, and well supported. And so I'm going to encourage you to take some mindful breaths to center yourself. silently or aloud in the space that you're in. I encourage you to send wishes for well-being to yourself and others. I want you to start visualizing each person or being and use these words as I share them with you. May I be safe and protected from harm, physical harm, and mental harm. May you be safe and protected from harm, physical harm, and mental harm. May I be strong and healthy. May you be strong and healthy. May I be peaceful and happy. May you be peaceful and happy. May I live my life 
with a joy and ease. May you live your life with joy and ease. As you take in the following declarations that I shared with you, I want you to really sit and say these things to yourself, that you're wishing safety and health and peace and joy to yourself. And for those that possibly are hearing the background noise from the street in my neighborhood or any background noise you might have in your space, just simply acknowledging that it's there um, without judgment and letting it be. And so now I encourage you to Use the statements that I shared around safety from physical harm, mental harm, to a benefactor, um, a mentor, a teacher, an animal companion, a spiritual teacher, someone to whom you feel gratitude and warmth. You want to start by sending the words of well-being to them, wishing them happiness and ease and strength. And so now I'm going to ask you to bring these declarations to a slightly difficult person, someone who you might find irritating or annoying. It could be anyone in your life, maybe someone you don't even know and really sit with wanting them to be protected from harm, from physical harm, mental harm, wishing them safety, wishing them peace, And so as we are wrapping up our meta meditation, I ask you to send these declarations to all living beings in all worlds. 
May those beings be safe and protected from harm, physical harm and mental harm. May those beings be strong and healthy. May the beings be peaceful. And may they live their life or existence with joy and ease. And so we'll take some mindful breaths together. If your eyes were closed and um, you were really relaxed, I encourage you to bring some awareness and become alert. And always remember that this meta meditation is available to you whenever you need it. I think it's a really good practice to not only be able to wish wellness and protection and all of these wonderful qualities to others, but really be able to bring that to ourselves. To really start to cultivate um, a practice around mindfulness and well-being to others and ourselves. So thank you so much for participating in the mindful meditation. Um, if you want to um, look at previous mindfulness meditations, they're all on our Facebook. Make sure to follow us on the High Facebook, on um, our Twitter page as well. Feel free to share this um, free wellness resource to anyone, colleagues, friends, family. Um, you don't have to be an expert at mindfulness meditation. This is really a tool that is meant for everyone and all are welcomed. Um, I also want to share my weekly um, Black Indigenous People of Color wellness resource. And today I am sharing one of my favorite um, wellness, I don't even know how to, like, I feel like it's so brilliant. It's, um, it's not only like a wellness tool, but it's like workshops and it's community. And so let me just tell you what it is because I love this um, platform so much. It's called the NAP Ministry and the NAP Ministry was founded in 2016. And um, it is an organization that examines the liberating power of NAPs. They engage in performance arts and uh, community organizing to install sacred and safe spaces for the community to rest together. Um, there is this belief in their work that rest is a form of resistance. And when you name that sleep deprivation ties back to white supremacy, capitalism, um, and is truly a racial and social justice issue. In the comments below, 
is a link to their website but for any of you that are on Instagram I highly recommend following them on Instagram or Twitter they post these incredible um, memes and just really like break things down in a way that is accessible and um, really relatable so I'm just gonna pull up one of the things that I read recently from them um, on their Instagram page um, here's one of the posts so have you rested today can you take 15 minutes to sit in silence and daydream have you scheduled your nap time for the weekend how are you resisting the toxic call to always be doing something what trauma needs to be healed for you to embrace your worth as a divine human being? Um, yeah, I mean, I can go on and on. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the NAP ministry, um, and it's a really great way of connecting rest to resistance and reparations. And so I recommend all of you to follow them, repost their work, um, and hope you enjoy it and let me know if you do. One last thing that I do want to share with you all is that um, every year members of Hive are part of the San Francisco AIDS Walk. And um, as you all can imagine, the AIDS Walk has gone virtual and it's happening this Sunday. Um, I am participating in my first AIDS Walk and with the goal of raising $500 to be able to put those resources into upkeeping our website, um, upkeeping um, different parts of our online presence. And um, I will have the link shared right there below for the SF AIDS Walk. Um, our collective team is hoping to raise $3,000 so far, we've raised 925. We would love to make this $3,000 goal or get to as close to it as possible. And so, um, you know, this this wellness um, online curriculum is completely free, and uh, we don't typically ask for any sort of like donations or things of that nature. And so, um, this is out of the ordinary for us, but would really love to see um, folks within our online community um, support us at the AIDS Walk so we are able to continue doing um, a lot of our virtual and online programming. And so all the links of the things that I mentioned are right in the comments. Um, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get any updates and I'm wishing you all a very restorative week and looking forward to seeing you next Monday at 12 p.m. Have a good one. Bye.